Greetings from Mahalo.com. Sean here, and today I'm going to show you Windows Photo Viewer and everything it can do. Windows Picture Viewer is a great way to view pictures in Windows 7. Just double click on any photo to open it. If you have another program that you're using to view photos and would like to use Windows Picture Viewer, just right click on the picture and choose Open With, then select Windows Picture Viewer. And if you'd like to open it with this program every time, you can just select Choose Default Program. and then select Windows Picture Viewer. While viewing a photo, you can navigate through your photos with the left or right buttons on the screen, or you can use the left or right arrows on your keyboard. If you want to zoom in on the image, you can use the magnifying glass on the left, or the plus or minus buttons on your keyboard. You can even use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Just to the right of the magnifying glass is the actual size button which does simply what it says, so that the image is not shrank or stretched. Then to enter slideshow mode, hit the button in the middle, or press F11 on the keyboard. In slideshow mode, the image takes up the whole screen and rotates through images in the folder that the image was opened in. This is a nice feature if you want to showcase your photos. While in slideshow mode, you can use the left or right arrows on the keyboard to navigate your images. And if you'd like to stay on an image, just right click on the screen and select pause. From here, you can also speed up or slow down the images. Also, whether or not the slideshow repeats or goes in order. To exit the slideshow, just hit Escape on the keyboard, or right click, and then select Escape. Now let's say you run across a picture that needs to be rotated. Simply just use the Rotate Clockwise and Rotate Counterclockwise buttons on the right. And if you'd like to delete an image from your computer entirely, just hit the X icon and select Yes to delete the image. Also, from viewing a photo, you can easily make a copy just by hitting the File button at the top, then selecting Make a Copy, and then selecting a new name for that copy. Also, from the File button, you can see properties of the image. Then if you hit Print, you can print to your local printer or order prints from one of the selected printing companies. At the top next to Print is the Email button that allows you to attach the image to an email and also gives you the option of what size you want the image to be for your email. Then, if you wanted to put this image on a disc, just hit the Burn button and select Data or Video, depending on if you wanted to play it in a DVD player or another computer. Then there's the Open button, which allows you to open the image in another program. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about Windows Picture Viewer. And if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. Thanks for watching.